Hi, welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Sabrina Register. We are here at the Governor's Mansion today in Olympia. And joining me right now is the president of TVW, Greg Lane. So nice to have you on the program. Thanks, Thanks for stopping by. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. A lot of people, of course, familiar political yes. programming on TVW, yeah. but for those who aren't, tell us a little bit about it. Well, we describe ourselves as the C-SPAN for Washington. So if people are familiar with what C-SPAN does at the federal level, we broadcast state government proceedings, everything the legislature does, uh, the state Supreme Court, all the state agency boards and commissions, give people direct access to watching you know, what their government is up to. And they can view us either on television, we're carried in about 70% of all TV households in Washington, or uh, online at tvw.org, they can watch everything we broadcast, plus additional webcasts, and all of our archives all the way back to 1995. So it's a, a Super tremendous convenient resource to have for that to online. Have. Yeah. yeah, sometimes you can only see a portion, you know, for, for some of what you can actually That's see, right. but if, you can see everything. If you just there. catch a little bit of a hearing, you can go online and watch the whole thing. Great. Yeah. Part of your mission, educating the public about the political process, legislative process. It is. So, yeah. so talk a little bit about that. Yeah, um, it's not just about informing people, but we want to really try and teach people, help them understand how the process works, and most importantly, teach them how to participate in the process, because we want more public participation in you know, what state government is doing and developing the policies that it's going to impact them. Um, so we, you know, we broadcast little um, pieces that help teach people about the legislative process, for example, um, but we also have an emphasis on uh, helping teachers in the classrooms in, around the state, high school and middle school classrooms, teach kids about how the process works too as well. And you have a program called Capital Classroom, which you're really hoping to we expand do. this we're, year. We do. We're really excited about this. We, we piloted it last year, um, program Capital Classroom. We had two high school classes who participated. And the idea around Capital Classroom is to keep kids engaged and involved in the process throughout the entire legislative session so that they can learn how a bill becomes a law through every step that it takes and have a chance to participate in every step along the process. Um, you know, some people are familiar that you know, a bill needs to pass the House, pass the Senate, and be, and be signed by a governor, but they're not you know, real familiar with you know, the, the process that a bill takes through each of those steps, how the bill changes, and most importantly, the opportunities that the public has to participate and, and influence the outcome of that legislation. So um, Capital Classroom teaches kids how that works by involving them throughout the entire legislative session in the hopes that that will then um, uh, convince them or teach them how to participate once they become adults as well. So it's a way to educate them in an interactive way rather than just looking at a textbook and exactly. you know, reading about the, the ins and outs of government. It's very interactive. Um, and instead of you know, just bringing them to Olympia for a day, which are a num there are a number of programs like that and they're great, mm -hmm. but just gives them a kind of a snapshot of the process. We involve them every step along the way. They can watch video of all the hearings and testimony um, that's taken place throughout the process. Um, we have a lobbyist for each of the classes that volunteers to represent them and actually testify in committee hearings and meet with legislators on their behalf. So the way it works is a class picks a bill that they want to follow and, and uh, be a part of. The lobbyist represents them. They choose a position on the bill. In mm -hmm. some cases, uh, we had one class that was split. We had half the mm. kids on one side, half the kids on the other. Makes it a little bit more um, exciting. And so the lobbyists represented both views um, and their behalf throughout the process. We um, arranged an opportunity for the kids to testify um, in either the House or the Senate. Uh, and the kind of the core component is we provide video conference sessions, five video conference sessions throughout the session, where we have the sponsor of the bill, we have opponents and proponents, we bring them over to TVW, put them in our studio, and the kids have an hour of interviewing and asking questions of these people who are working in the process to be able to learn more about the legislation as well as help influence its outcome. I want to be back in high school doing yeah, it's this pretty program. Cool. Yeah. Is, it, is it open to high school students? It's, it's open to high school classes. Um, we did two last year. We hope to expand the program this year up to about eight or ten. We're looking for teachers, so if there's teachers watching this, um, contact TVW. We'd love to have you involved in the process. Um, and the response from the kids was really exciting. They were very engaged. The questions they asked, you could tell that they were um, you know, very involved, had done a lot of research and study on the program. And most importantly, by the end, almost 90% of them said they would be much more likely to participate in the process as adults, and that's the goal that we Fantastic. hope to accomplish. Fantastic. We're out of time. Greg, yeah. thank you so thank much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers.